welcome 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 back hey friends i uh, hope you guys are great and you've had the most productive week hopefully so today <clears throat> excuse me today we have a sit down video and i'm gonna talk about living alone as yes i have a series on on my channel that's called living alone diaries and i have this little helper over here like Ufunan. can i just be left alone for a few minutes go to your cc no go to your cc i love you one thing i need to invest on guys is a microphone because this one when you put a chair it just goes this way and i feel like the sound doesn't sound the same you know kind of irritates me but the next best microphone that i could buy it's a square one i need the rose on it just would clip here and i think that'll be perfect because then it will sit like this because if this mic was, was able to sit like this then i'd be happy anyway i digress so i have my notes on my laptop over there and i'm gonna be looking so that this video has some form of direction okay first topic what is living alone diaries living alone diaries is as what the heading says it's a series about a girl in her 30s living alone in this case with her two dogs and how i navigate life what i do the hobbies just to show that living alone is not boring so the question that i need you to answer is living alone really worth it let's hope i give you some insights that is living alone really worth it yes you don't have to live alone forever let's say you're not married as yet or maybe you're not pl even planning to get married you want to live with a friend later in life just still experience living alone okay let's get into the video so when did i move i moved out in 2021 and then i was 31 turning i was gonna be turning 32 that year the reason why i'm bringing up my age is because i need you guys to see that not everyone moves out in their early 20s or when they're 19 circumstances are different i never felt the need to move out of home i was very comfortable and there's nothing wrong with being comfortable and but when 2021 hit I felt that it was time for me to be on my own and to have my own space and to do things the way that I want them to to be and just have my own stuff, you know. So it's very important to note that not there is no certain age that you have to be out of home, you know. And also, you could be 33, you could be 34, you could be 35, and you still live at home. If it's comfortable for you, if circumstances allow, nobody should shame you on living alone. Uh, and living, for living at home, start is disturbing me with this bone. Now you have made a decision. Now you decided, okay, I need to move out. What is the reason? Where do you start? Where do you start? What is the reason to move? Am I moving because I want to be closer to work or am I moving because it's time to move? In my case, I moved out because it was time to move. Some other people, they actually leave home early because they work so far and they have to leave home and move closer to work because it doesn't make sense to commute daily to the office from home. I did that for so many years before COVID. There was nothing wrong with commuting and then after covid it was like oh my goodness this is a lot but when i moved out initially it was not even closer to work but still i think it was like 20 minutes away from home and which means i was still like 40 minutes drive away from work but we're doing hybrids so ask yourself the question what is the reason to move to be closer to work or is it time to move location where do you want to live where do you want to live so do you want it's not about now being closer or being far away from work but the area itself you have to consider some few things traffic safety do you really want to be that far away from family or you're okay with being that far away from uh, from family things that you can do in the area because you're going to be living alone so you're going to want to find hobbies and you want a safer area 
you know, you want to live in a safer area where, you know, it's okay, I could be driving at night or there's less um, break-ins and all of that. I'm going to be living in a gated community. All of that stuff is important to consider. Okay. So make sure that you check that stuff. Bedrooms. How many bedrooms do you want? So some people, um, they would say, like, I live alone. I've always had one bedroom. I'm fine with it. But when it's time for me to buy a house, to buy property, I'm definitely not going to buy a one bedroom. So some people would want to rent out two bedrooms, three bedrooms. Again, it just depends on circumstances. How much can you afford? Can you afford one bedroom or can you afford two bedrooms? If you can afford one bedroom at a much safer location, where else you can afford a two bedroom at a very dingy location, you can choose. Obviously, you're going to go with the one bedroom that's more safer than going for the two bedroom at a dingy. For me, safety is important because, yes, I do have two dogs, but my dogs are not gut dogs. They just cute dogs <laughs> but there are alarm systems for me and i live in a gated community um what i mean by that is i live in an in a in a in a in a property where there's other people living here and the security fences and all of that so i never feel alone furniture so okay now you found the area you found the apartment and now it's like hmm furniture where do I start? My thing is, start with the bed. As long as you have a place to sleep, you'll be fine. Bed, curtains, two plates, two cups, two cut. Like, literally, you're just starting out. Okay, so no need to put yourself under pressure to get the most expensive furniture, the most expensive um, couch, the most expensive fridge, the most expensive microwave. No. Do what you can. Look at what you have. Do what you can bit by bit. Over time, you'll have everything that you need. Okay. So do not rush. When I moved out, I I took my old bed. Yeah. I took my old I know most people say, be like, no, I'm going to leave my bed. I'll get a new bed. But I took my old bed because no one is going to use it. Right. And um, I started buying bit by bit Mr. Price Home like five plates five cups and cutlery and i went to those little shops and just bought like little you you, you shop room by room so i start with the kitchen just to get those necessities that i would need and what else um and then uh, a, a, a friend of mine gave me a, a couch that they were not using i was very appreciative for that because i didn't have a couch and I wasn't going to be buying a couch anytime soon. So at least I had something to sit on and it just, everything just eventually came together. I didn't have a washing machine that was stressful, but lucky enough, I was able to get a washing machine and I had a small fridge before having this fridge. I had like a small fridge that my mom borrowed me. And so you ask family members of furniture that they're not using and eventually you're gonna get your stuff together just bit by bit there's no need to rush there's no need to put yourself under pressure let's talk financials what's the cost when you're moving so you're going to need depending depending where you're going places that i've been this is my second property uh, property to rent uh the first one they needed deposits one month deposits rent admin fees so some prop some uh companies or properties they need two months deposits and then the rent and then admin fees so make sure that you have saved enough for that okay because before you move in you need to have paid your, your deposit admin fee and your rent and then if you have a lot of stuff you're probably gonna need a moving truck and that's gonna be a bit pricey depending from where you are now to where you're going so those are the uh, fees that you need to consider, okay, before you can make that big decision. Don't be scammed, okay? One thing I do not want to, I am afraid of is being scammed. Do not be scammed. So always use reputable sites. I've always used Property24. Never been scammed. Go view the place before paying for the deposit. 
do not trust someone saying with you no this is because some places they could look good in pictures but when you get there it's like dingy and trashy i'm sorry to say it, but it happens I haven't experienced it before but it happens so go view the place and this gives you the opportunity to see the area itself we'll see do i actually see myself living here right so go view the place and if there's something you're not happy about could be the paint inside maybe like it it's it's dirty from the previous um tenant you ask them please paint the walls like whatever you're not happy with you communicate with your new landlord we'll see okay love this place i'm here for it but i have an issue with one two and three are you going to be able to fix that and they should be able to fix what you're not happy about if it's within reason of reason you know like you can't now say i, I just don't like this whole place then just this is not your place then you know right so yeah speak up when you're not happy with anything and use reputable sites before paying deposit use repeatable sites and go view the place before paying deposit otherwise you'll be crying alone because you've been scammed moving in day the most exciting day moving your things inside this new place your new home everything is new it's a new experience a new environment you adult now you feel like you're a big girl or big boy and what is the first thing i want to say to you guys is the first night is always weird like the first night i'm always scared the first property where i lived i didn't have a dog so it was just me and you have to go through it you have to go through it alone and oh my goodness I was so paranoid i didn't get a good night's sleep at all and that is normal this is a new environment this is a new, you're not used to the sounds that happen at night it could be wind it could be this it could be anything you're not used to it so the first night is always weird and then when i moved in here i had not had already two dogs and it was still weird because it that this place is so different because it's like out you know so it's full of trees it's just surrounded by nature it's just beautiful i love it so there was definitely sounds but because i had my dogs i knew that i was safe again my alarm system <laughs> so now you've moved in you've even made your first dinner you even had your breakfast and you and now you know where to buy your groceries so now you're slowly settling into your home and you're slowly discovering your style and you want to move this day you want to move this day you want to move this day just take your time and again i'm going to go back to the furniture parts like guys you never stop wanting new things when it comes to furniture like right now as of sitting here i would love to replace those uh bar stools and have them different because i feel like actually they broken let me just be honest and i want to I'm, I'm getting to a different style now so i want different kinds of stools and but i'm like you know what i'll get it i'll get it because there's also like life there's other things that i'm interested interested in like my life doesn't revolve around my home yes i love her and of course the space that you live in has to be comfortable as long as i have a comfortable couch i have comfortable chairs and table where i can work from and you know i can do a whole lot like i have my specific things that okay here i'm not willing to compromise but bus tools i'm willing to compromise because i hardly sit there they're honestly there for sure so even when i get them i don't think i'll be using them that much maybe because these ones are no longer comfortable but my point is there's always going to be a need for new furniture someone someone else could be saying yeah i've had this fridge for this month of years i think it's time for a change I need a kettle but i'm gonna go and buy running shoes instead of buying a kettle you know you know so it's like priorities so do not put yourself under pressure priorities are different so settle in and explore the area be familiar with it and just make the best out of it like yes this is not your permanent home 
but it is my permanent home today and i will take care of it i will clean my place i'll make sure there's food i will just do little things that make me happy when i'm home because most of the time i am home so yeah in conclusion in conclusion living alone highly highly recommend start just so himself hey star boy <laughs> and luna is under the table i highly recommend living alone and i highly recommend getting a pet you could be a cat person you could be a dog person getting a pet has helped me so much not just with emotional um emotional comfort but also with just knowing that i wake up and i speak to someone because i wake up i say good morning to my dogs and we have a you know, just cold star like it's it's nice having a dog it's literally like having a friend with you but the dogs okay so that's that's when i actually started um i was like actually i need a pet when i lived alone and i love it and i'm definitely gonna get more dogs not now though but i'm definitely gonna be getting more dogs so yeah get a pet after maybe a couple of months after a year or so because i got luna in 20 in 2022 yeah it was almost a year of living alone and it was like okay it's time i need a, a pet and i do not regret that decision so yeah i recommend living alone guys and just remember that you are responsible for everything you're responsible for food electricity water food 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 electricity i haven't even started i haven't even touched touched the beginning because wow it is expensive so when the meat is when sugar is finished you have to buy when salt is finished you have when meat is finished you have to buy unlike when you're at home you contribute with however amount that you contribute with and when food is finished you just look at your parents or your mommy like girl there's no meat girl there's no veggies when the food is finished and it's a week away from payday you have to make a plan a plan will happen and you won't leave you won't sleep without eating you won't starve okay so yeah i hope this has convinced you to think about living alone or this has given you uh, my perspective of living alone and why living alone diaries is so important because it's nice to share it's also capture it's me capturing my life because uh, I do not know what the future holds. I could find myself living in this humongous house that I bought with my friend, or I could be married, or I could be living in another country or in another province. So let me just enjoy what I have here and yeah, share with you guys. So hope you really enjoyed this video. Please comment below if you're living alone, if you're thinking about it, if you have lived alone and now you're no longer living alone, how was the experience? Would you recommend it? And just any tips. And if you need me to discuss any topic further about living alone, I'm more than happy to. But one topic I'll never talk about is how much I pay for rent and all of that. I don't like being too specific about money and how much i spend on things but I, I don't mind sharing how much i spend on groceries and all of that if that's something you'd wanna uh hear me talk about i could just include it in my next vlogs and stuff yeah so hope you guys have a very productive weekend a very chilled weekend because i know this is gonna go up on a friday and yeah later no.